Green Town here. Felt like being a turtle today. See if I got the little back. I've got my camis on. I don't know if you can see them, but anyway. So I've got my turtle shirt going. So today, last Monday, I made my pizza burg. So this Monday, I am making another pizza. This is, I don't really know what to call it. Um, I guess we can call it a chicken pizza. The base will be chicken. So what are we going to have in it? I've got a pound of ground chicken. And I've got a bag of shrimp. I'll tell you how many uh, ounces in the description box because I forgot how many are on the bag. I've got a scallion bunch and then some cilantro. Now cilantro is really strong. Not a lot of people like it. And I love it. I love strong cilantro. You know, the more the merrier. But anyways, so if you decide to make this, just be sure um, to watch with the cilantro because it is very strong. Got some onion powder, some ginger, liquid aminos, got some garlic, pepper, and Himalayan pink salt. And I'm going to put my hair up, get an apron, and then we'll get started. Thanks for watching. All right, I am ready to begin. I've got my old apron on today because the black one it shows everything you know you get flour on it one time and it you know there all right chicken ground chicken always seems a little bit softer to use than ground beef all right so i'm gonna go in with my um shrimp and then we're gonna season everything up afterward and there are no set measurements for this because you know you're going to season it the way you like it so um my e my even <laughs> i can't talk today i'm sorry my oven is preheated to 375 and it is ready to go and i'm basically going to cook this the same way as the um the pizza burr um i don't think it'll be as greasy but i'm going to do it the same way Kind of blot it with paper towel if the grease piles up. Okay. Now this is just a light blend here. I'm gonna go in in a few minutes with my glove. Okay. So I'm gonna start with the garlic. I like a lot of garlic, so I'm gonna put in two spoonfuls. You can do what you like. You can use garlic powder if you don't want to use the minced garlic. Some pepper to your liking and pink Himalayan salt just a little bit this pours fast and some liquid aminos I like the smell of this so I'm just gonna go in a little pour and you can always add more if you want more and I like the combination of the garlic the ginger, the onions, and the scallions, and this is just some ground ginger. It's in my little ginger house that my mom gave me. And I'm going in with about a half a teaspoon. Ginger's pretty strong too, so again, it's your preference. My cilantro, which I love. And when you're chopping cilantro or cutting in the cooking shears, if you don't use gloves, it will give you a very, very strong smell in a scallion bunch. One bunch. All right. I'm going to put my glove on now and just get all these uh, flavors mixed in here. All right. So, going in. I suppose if you wanted to, you could add an egg to this if you wanted. Um, I'm not going to, though. It would just add some more protein and maybe helps it binding it. But pizza normally does have a cheese on it, but there's no cheese in this one. This is really just because it's on the pizza pan, really. And it's got shrimp and chicken. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to eat mine drizzled with sriracha and 
I also like it dipped with, um, uh, dip it into a dumpling sauce. Alright, so my, I think that's pretty good. Like I said, ground chicken is a lot easier to, you know, blend compared to ground beef. It's just softer. Okay, got my pan here. And I don't think I'm going to need to roll it out. Just going to pop it on here. Now, cilantro is one of those things, it's, it's not everybody's cup of tea, so you know, if you don't want to use it, don't put it in there. Same with the scallions. But I love these flavors together. And I'm going to put this in the oven for about 20 minutes and check it, and then go from there. And then when we're done, we'll see. So I'm going to make this all pretty. And then uh, I'll show you what it looks like before I put it in. Okay. The, I can't speak. Sorry. <laughs> the um, chicken pizza is ready to go into the oven. So I'm going to check it in 20 minutes. And then we'll go from there. So stay tuned. And thanks for being here today. Appreciate it. All right, guys. My chicken pizza is ready. So this is what it looks like. I did um, cut it already. And obviously it's not a um, cheese pizza. This has got some Thai flavors. Um, so let's try this out. It's very thin. And I cooked it for 20 minutes. Then I flipped it over with my huge spatula. And I don't know... You probably don't have to flip it over. I just did. Um, and it actually produced a lot more um, juice or grease than I thought. Um, but I just dabbed it with a paper towel. So I'm going to top mine with some sriracha. And then sometimes I like to use this dumpling sauce. This one has about 2 grams of sugar. This one has zero added sugar, so I kind of opt for this one. So you just dri drizzle it on, like so, and of course I had to get it all over the plate too. Let me grab a napkin. And I hope it's not too bright, because the sun is starting to really shine through the windows back there. But that's what the pizza looks like. And let's have a taste. It smells really good. Hopefully I didn't put too much sriracha that I, uh, you know, make a funny face on camera. Mm -hmm. This is good. This is good. These spices, um, the um, ginger, garlic, onion, cilantro. These are, um, my dad uses them in a, um, a soup that he makes and the combination, they just work really well. Um, but this is really good. If you don't like sriracha, it's kind of hot. So if you don't like sriracha, don't use that. Mm. If you like chicken, you like shrimp, it's just a different way of eating you know, ground chicken in a pizza form. It's fun to eat. I mean, it's really thin. Probably pick it up with your hands. Um, it's very tasty. And, you know, you put the amount of seasonings that you want. Now, if you look at this pan, it really did shrink up. So, if you wanted to make a full-size one, I would do two pounds of ground chicken. Um, and the same, the full bag of shrimp, unless you want it even more. And, and then, you know, put in your scallions and cilantro according to how much ground chicken you have. But it does shrink up quite a bit. But for me, which I don't know if my husband will want to eat this because I really like a lot of cilantro. He might try it. He might. But with this sriracha, it is so good. So anyways, this is my pizza for this Monday and if you make it I hope you like it and at no matter what I appreciate that you're watching my channel right now 
and if you're just passing through, thank you too. So until next time, bye.